This is Elisa and once again welcome to my channel. Um, my mission here is to empower and inspire and give hope and so this is what I'm going to try and do today um, talking about uh, how to best overcome challenges uh, when you're on your path to a specific goal. Um, of course it is very very common that when you start on a path, it won't always be smooth sailing. There will be times when things are good and easy and there will be times when you hit a bump in the road and you want to give up. So I want to share some of the techniques that I use myself and that I've used with my clients to help them to stay on their journey. The most important thing is always to remember the benefits. Why are you doing what you're doing? You know, why are you learning that language? Why are you learning the new instrument? So always think about the benefits. You know, why are, have you chosen to achieve that specific goal? And I would put those benefits on a board or a place where you can always, always look at it and see it and remind yourself of it. Then the other thing I would do is um, actually a visualization exercise. And in this visualization exercise will help you to make a choice that is conscious because often when difficult uh, circumstances happen we sort of regress back to our kind of uh, default uh, automatic pilot uh, ways of, of deciding and we usually go with the easy option but the easy option short term might be not the best option for you long term. So in order to remember the long term and stay with the discomfort and remember that it is temporary, what I would suggest you do is to first of all relax, take a few deep breaths because this exercise is much better when you do that, ground yourself and then imagine that you are at a cross on the road because you kind of are. Every decision is a cross on the road, right? And then imagine that there is a left path and there's a right path. So for, for a start, think about the left path. Imagining walking on this path, this is the path of all destructive habits, the easy way out. So think of yourself walking on this path and then arriving at a point where there is a mirror. And in this mirror, there's a picture of you five years from now. And look at this picture and imagine what does that version of me feel like in that future? What is their life like? What is it like to be them? You know, and what is it like for me to see that version of me be real in five years time? Really get a good picture and then take a snapshot of that and imagine that you're putting that snapshot into your left pocket so that every time you want to remember the truth of the consequences of your decisions if you were to go down the left path, all you have to do is just touch your left pocket. Then go back to the cross on the road and imagine that you're going to go on the right hand path. And this path is the path of sticking with your guns, you know, staying with the discomfort temporarily, but then actually keep on track, keep on going, being determined. And then see yourself in that mirror on that path and that will um, reflect to you this different future, the future where you actually stick with your goals and you achieve them. And what does that version of you look like and feel like? You know, and again, take a snapshot of that, put it in your right pocket. So anytime you want to know the truth of the consequences of your decision now, all you have to do is touch your right hand pocket. So this is uh, the main technique. The first version of this is to imagine that it is five years from now and you're looking back at the you today having made the decision to not stick to your goals, to give up and, and how does that future you feel about this decision? And what would that future you want to say to you right now? The third version of this is to connect to the wisdom of your heart. To actually put a hand on your heart and ask your inner teacher, your wiser man or woman, uh, your guide, you know, if you're religious, could it, be, could it be God, I think of it as sort of my higher self, and ask the wisdom of your heart, 
what is the deeper truth about this problem? You know, what do I need to remember right now? And just ask the question again, be quiet, empty, empty, and wait. And then you will get an answer. And that, trust that answer is what you really need to remember right now. I would love to hear from you and find out how you keep yourself determined on your goal. And if you find this helpful, leave me a comment. And uh, see you next time.